In order to keep bringing you guys tons of free content, we work with brand partners who you'll hear from in this episode, including an advertisement from Zopa Bank. Hello and welcome back to Talk 20s Podcast. Guys, I know I've lived in Liverpool for a while now and I sound dad scouse. So, no, I'm joking. It's Georgia. Gabby's held me captive and got me to sit in the hosting seat today. But she is here along with Liv. Woo. So you've got the full Talk 20s team. I hope you've had a nice Christmas and you've recovered from New Year's Eve. If you're feeling anxious about setting goals for 2024, then this is the episode for you. So hit that subscribe button to get the best out of your 2024 by allowing us to be in your life. Yeah, the last time we done a team episode was basically just like an advert for 20s Fest. So. Yeah, but I mean, it was an advert that you guys tuned in for. We just thought that we talked for 10 minutes about 20s Fest and it ended up being 45, just talking about yeah. life in your 20s. <laughs> that sounds and loads awesome. of you loved it. Like it was completely accidental. I know. We were so nervous. Are you Are you less nervous now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel I was like, chill. what the hell do you speak about? Like, we talk all the time, but when there's someone, like, listening to our conversation, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I know. <laughs> and I feel like none of us filter our, like, brain. So it's no. always just, like, brain dumps on each other. Yeah. Which sometimes <laughs> is good, but sometimes it just makes no sense. <laughs> so I'm like a Simpson or, like, a Sims. <laughs> Sims. Sims character, yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you really quick, what do you think the word of the year is? Well, you both kind of know. Yeah. Riz. So I planned this whole thing and I was like, what's the word of the year? And everyone knows what it is. Yeah, we already knew. So she wrote something and was like, we're going to talk about the word of the year. And I went, oh yeah, Riz. And when went, did you Ugh. find out? Yes, this I had done yesterday. I think I saw it on TikTok this morning. Yeah. So it's Riz, um, beige flag. <laughs> and then there was another one, something oh, like... Oh, Swifty. A beige a Swifty. Flag. A Swifty. Yeah. Swifty. That's all made it into the Ox... Mad that Swifty's made it into the Oxford Dictionary. That is just a per... Like, Swifty is in Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Had, but that's in the Oxford Dictionary. Like, if you're a Taylor Swift fan, like, that's... I think that's the craziest of them all. The rest are, like... If I was Taylor Swift, that would be the thing that I would be most proud of. Oh, I know. In my whole career. <laughs> yeah. Like, so your would fans. I. What would... What Invented would our, a word. What would our, like, community be called? <gasps> well, have you thought about this? Gabs, we've thought about this together. We uh -huh. actually... We wrote it out at the start of 20s so, first. Did I? Yeah. So that was your word of we, 20s We were first. like, what, what, would people, what, would, what would, like, people who come to the event, and it's like... What would they be like wanting not, to refer I don't to? Know this conversation. So Go on, we, I can't what remember what it was. Um, oh, I can't remember. But we 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 listed like the sort of things that people might want to like call themselves if they get like diehard fans. Yeah, because <laughs> like um, Alex Cooper's, they're yeah. all called like the Daddy Gang. The and Daddy I love Gang. That. Yeah. I see love Taylor Swift's Swifties. Like, what are there other examples of them? I don't know. Justin Bieber. Be the, the, the Beehive. Yeah, Beliebers. Is Beliebers. that right? Yeah, the Beehive. Yeah. Um, Guys, we can't think of one clearly. So if you're listening to this, leave in the comments what you think yeah. the Talk 20 what followers should, we should be. What should call you all? Because I always say guys, but like I don't yeah. feel, I don't, I don't like guys. saying guys. No, me too. My loves. Hey, Daddy Gang. <laughs> hey, chickens. <laughs> hey, chickens. Hey, yeah. Chick. Yeah, we need something like that, but oh, we don't know what it is. We could go like really scouts and be like, hey, Prince. Hey, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> we could. I love okay. the name Prince. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. You're such a, like I, that's actually so true. That's such a scouse thing because I put like my best friend from Gloucestershire and I put up like happy birthday to this Prince. And she replied back to me. She's from Gloucester. She, she's not from here. She said, there's a typo on that, but oh, don't worry, I'll still share it to my story. What was the typo? Um, and, she, and I was like, where's the typo? I literally replied back to her and I said, mm. where's the typo? I said, it says happy birthday, Prin. And she said, yeah, you haven't, like, it, what does Prin mean? And I was like, it means it's short for princess. Yeah. And she was like, oh, she was like, that's what you said. I was like, oh, sorry, that I was just like, you've lived in the pool way too long. She didn't know. No. Yeah, she didn't know. Like, oh, I'll put happy birthday this, to this print. She's like, there's a typo, but don't worry, I'll still share it to my story. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to kill me for saying this. <laughs> She's Sorry, a glamour Sinead. queen. But literally, She's she was like, yeah, there's a typo, but don't worry, I'll still share it. But no, print is, print is a world, word full stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, hey, friends. <laughs> I know. And also beige flag's a crazy one. Like, what what's your beige flag? I don't really know what it means. Is it like the things that aren't a big deal, but you do all the time? I think the it's the opposite of red flag. So like the red flags are like warning, obviously stay away. And then beige flags, like something like they do, which is a bit odd. Yeah, like grates you on your bit, it's not enough. It's not It's not a red flag, it's a beige flag. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, do you know Do you know what my beige flag is now? 
I'm so adult that when I'm driving so past adult, she's Christmas. 23. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm driving past Christmas decorations and I see the houses with all the Christmas lights on, I just think about the cost. Like how much it would, how much cost it would, of living crisis. How much it would cost to run that. <laughs> You, that, that's what goes through your brain. Not all oh, nice Christmas decorations. No, I just think, bloody hell, how much money do they have? <laughs> In like, I bet you it comes from like your events brain though as well. Yeah, because you know how much it would actually cost to like actually put that up like yeah. for a day or something like yeah. that. And do you know what my other... <laughs> how is that beige flag though? I don't know. That's my other beige flag, flag if, if I'm getting this right, is... Um, I love if Brindes. If I understand the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm down with the kids. <laughs> well, what has happened to me? So um, over the new year, guys, um, check out this. <laughs> Olivia's grown 60 years older. <laughs> She's no longer with yeah. us. No, but my other one is I love Bin Day. Like, it gets me so excited. <laughs> Right, so I have I have a big black bin, and then I have two smaller like um, like boxes, and I'm crying in the corner. The producers, I've sat. Never... the producers crying. <laughs> Olivia, let so me explain. Have, let have, me explain. Have, a big so bin I have two small bins. No, so I have a big bin, and I have two <sighs> small boxes. Now, when I lived at home, we just had big bins, so it was never an issue. Like the bins would be, em- we'd, we'd put stuff in the bins, and then they'd be emptied. But now, because I've got these small boxes, they get full really quickly. So I know when bin day is coming up, and it's Ooh. like two week alternates. But when it's like the day before bin day, I am so excited, thinking <laughs> tomorrow that is empty. Okay. What's, what's your bin day routine? Do you have a night before bin day? Do you um, know? Them out the night before. No, I do she switch it up. Sometimes us. I just put it in the day before and then sometimes I do it on the morning. So we just yeah. kind of play it risky like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say I get excited for bin day. I, I do, do not. not get <laughs> I'm not involved in the... But it feels nice and fresh. No. I like, I I'm, I think that's where we're opposite. Like I've still not realised I'm a fully fledged adult that pays rent and like yeah. I do not take my bins down and it, like oh. my boyfriend lives with me and he takes them down but sometimes I forget and like when he doesn't stay like the other day there was bin juice oh bin juice is the worst so I am not a clean girl no I've had maggots in my bin before inside inside but it was in the summer like honestly I literally I lifted it out and I was like like literally like like, I freaked out and then Harvey was like trying to come over and I was like get out (laughs) that's my dog by the way Um, I was like get out like because I obviously didn't want him to eat it like literally Mm. I was throwing up ew yeah you can't eat maggots before we go into anything actually you you can can eat eat maggots maggots. yeah says who me (laughs) what no you can't is is that am I making that up like obviously don't do that but like I swear no you can't eat maggots that would make you ill surely you Mm. take maggots when you go fishing right yeah you don't eat them what people eat like cockroaches Calvin, and can stuff. you google can you eat maggots i but swear before, it's like we a tell, before we go to the maggots conversation can we just please talk about what happened on the way to the studio oh yeah because that was the most horrifying thing i've ever seen so still kind of insulted gabby because she so liv comes up and we're about to tell liv the story of when i nearly died and now gabby goes george is normally really a drama queen but like she's not lying this time <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i'm never Maggots can be fried and eat. Ooh, fried and eaten in places where, oh god, yeah, yes. okay, like in the jungle. So you like, can eat maggots. Yeah, they. Eat okay, them. so you. A quick note from our sponsors, Zopa Bank, who are here to help you with your personal finance in the Zopa app. Zopa have a for you section on their app that gives you helpful, personalized insights, like reviewing your subscriptions, checking for cheaper broadband and energy bills. The first thing that you need to do is link your accounts using open banking. Once your accounts are connected, the available data will let Zopa understand your finances and give you personalized insights. It will also analyze your credit file and check your Zopa eligibility. Best of all, it's all free and at your fingertips always. So you can make sure you're making the best, most informed choice with your money 24-7. Download the Zopa app now to find out more. Can eat maggots, guys, but don't do that. I don't know why I know that. I know some random facts. Um, It's like 90 calories and a tooth. Yeah. What? (laughs) What? How the hell do you wear that out and who the hell is eating a tooth? I don't know. I used to have one of them apps where you got a random fact a day. I loved it. And that one stuck. (laughs) That that one stuck. (laughs) Anyway, so I got attacked by a seagull, basically. It was full. It was stressful. It was stressful. I nearly died. And (laughs) it literally like sat on my shoulder, came through my hair, 
put its like beak through my hair like this and then tried getting me crisps and I didn't want to litter like save the planet like I was like holding me crisps like I'm not <laughs> gonna put the these planet. down it was massive as well no I know it was huge and then we, I and also like, it was like you know when it like does it's like big wings like that it was like <laughs> doing that like at you and I was like, oh my God, I honestly felt like it was like the apocalypse. You made oh, me more scared. We are not, oh, like sometimes we do exaggerate. That was not, that I was the scariest queen. thing. Everyone around in like the Albert Dock was literally staring. People they were, were looking they were at like, me oh like, oh my God, girl. is that girl okay? She's, she's about to, girl. Yeah. yeah. No, she's about to lose her life. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. In the, on the docks, um, which is not good. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, and then even we went around the corner to run away from them. I did put my crisps down. I will go back and pick them up <gasps> if they've not been destroyed. Yeah, but otherwise you would have got killed. No, I would have got killed. No joke. They even then tried to follow us without the And crisps. then they followed us. So to make up for it, just to, because me and Gabby were out of breath, I then jumped out on Liv when she came in the <laughs> office. Just scared. so we were all equally, just like, so everyone was scared. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, this was not the aim of the podcast. No. no. Oh, way, guys. Come on, let's get into 2024. Yeah, so 2024, we're actually recording this before Christmas to be, like, completely transparent. Like, We've not had our Christmases with our families yet, so, you know, we could meet each other. We're getting prepped. Yeah, in a couple of weeks we might be crying after yeah. Christmas when we see each other. And also a lot of stuff happens in a week for us. So Yeah, yeah. it does. Woo. So and A lot of this happens in two days for the two days that I've had, but we'll yeah. get into that in the new year. Yeah, we've got some exciting <laughs> Exciting plans, stuff coming, so guys. So make sure you subscribe. Yes, <laughs> hit that subscribe because there's so much stuff going on that I can't even wait I know. to tell you all. We can't say just yet, but we've been on our Christmas party. Yeah. Mm. Um, we all fun. got very glam. And what are your plans for Christmas? What are you actually going to be doing? So obviously you'll be reflecting on this. So yeah. what piece of advice would you want to give to yourself? So this is the last year. So I'm like, look, I live away from my family. So I'm like, yeah. it's like, it's kind of about a three hour drive. So like Christmas is a really tricky and like my boyfriend works, my boyfriend is not my boyfriend, fiance, fiance. works shifts over Christmas. It's the last year he's going to because he's career changing in the new in the new year. Um, but he works shifts. So he only gets like really limited time off before he has to be back for shifts and stuff like that. So for a long time now, we've driven on Christmas Day. Mm. We're like either between our parents so that we can see both parents. And that's like quite a few years that we've done that, but we're not going to do, like this is the last year we're going to do that because oh. we just want to chill on Christmas Day. Like we are, and I don't know if it's just getting old or whatever, but like mm. I, I don't really want to be do racing down the song, M6. Do you listen like driving home? Oh, yeah, I love but that. But that was fun the first time we drove on Christmas <laughs> Day. It is not fun the, the 6th or 7th. Like yeah. we've been together a long time now. Like, and it just, you feel rushed. You can't have a drink because like obviously like mm, one of you's yeah. driving and you don't want to be the one that like gets drunk and then ah, on the way, the drive down. So like it, it feels really stressed, very like stressed Mm -hmm. and stuff but obviously we want to see both families mm. um so yeah we're going to my mum's and my mum and my dad's waking up on christmas day there driving back up having christmas with dan's family and his granddad that's cute what about yeah. you i have no idea because you so me and Liv um both live out you we've both recently kind of just moved out haven't we yeah and before that i'm assuming for you as well it was always kind of like for because we were students yeah so i've always gone like if i've been in um, like away from home with uni and what whatnot. I've always gone back home for Christmas, yeah. um, but this year, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Really? Like, I, I'm not gonna be by myself. I hope mm. not. <laughs> <laughs> just me with my bins. <laughs> <laughs> you should just be sat there thinking, "Bin day." Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my god, what day is Christmas Day this year? She's stressed. Oh no, are you gonna so, skip a bin yeah. day? I look now. <clears throat> um, it's a Monday. I knew it. That's bin day. You're missing bin day. <laughs> I can't believe it. So there's gonna be no. When will I think that's gonna be stressful up? for me because I look forward to that every two weeks when those little ones get emptied. That's like the highlight. So that's gonna be a missed so, week. So Christmas, you'd yeah. rather have like bin day than Christmas. No, nah, I just need it to work so that I'm not missing bin day because it's on Christmas day. So I just need it to to move around, but. I guess I guess I'll get to that yeah. in a couple of years time when the years when the days change. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, it's really just, what, every seven years it's going to be on a Monday. Yeah, that's okay. how it works, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or is it a leap year? So I maybe can't it might I be like every six days. years. Okay. I don't know when bin day is. Right. So well, that Wait, really that home. really messes things do up. Now. Have, do you have New Year's <laughs> Eve plans? Yeah, I usually go out every New Year. Like it's been like tradition to like go out, out. Like a lot of people hate going out on New Year's Eve. I yeah. love going out on New Year's Eve. The mm. vibe, I know it's busy, but like the vibe is so fun because everyone is excited mm. about something that's happening at midnight. Do like you go with Dan? Yeah. Right. 
Oh, well, all let of me our friends, like, we don't just go out us too. Like, we go out with a big group. group. Like, we we usually go to, like, a different city. And, like, it ends up being, like, yeah, it's, like, expensive. But then if you don't... I don't really go out the rest of the year. So I kind of just save up, like, for that, if that makes sense. Okay. Right. Well, let me give you the single perspective of that. Okay. <laughs> so you go out with all your friends, all your friends are in relationships. It hits midnight. Everyone's kissing. And you're just stood there, like... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, so you say that right, but Dan's friends have been single for all of eternity they are like literally like <laughs> getting themselves. into relationships now but they've always been single they always find someone to kiss at midnight oh. without fail without a big thing? Fail. like you have to be kissing someone at midnight where, Wait, where does people that come do from? though don't they when you're out like everyone's like whoa and then but, everyone's kissing and then you're single and all your friends are not single find someone that's just there and they're single too and you're like ah it don't work for me not no <laughs> but you, is can, it, you come with me this year we'll is it not out. better though to because I suppose like the reason why people kiss each other because it's like new year so you're like yeah. going into the new year with that person like I don't know like would you want to be kissing some random air? and then like you know you're not going to see them on new year's day <laughs> I, don't I know. feel like that's a bit too deep. It's like, too deep. Is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but like, I don't know, that would stress no, I, me out. No, I think some people might think like that. Yeah. yeah. Are you feeling a little overwhelmed right now? Would it help to speak to someone? Well, this is just a brief pause to tell you about our newest pay partner, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an app I've often used in the past to speak with credentialed therapists to help me deal with the highs and lows of my 20s. Starting therapy can be hard. I couldn't find the right therapist for me in my area and found the face-to-face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. What I love about BetterHelp is if the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like a right fit, which can be common when you're starting therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. If you're looking for affordable therapy, check out BetterHelp. And as a thank you for listening, we have a special link that gets you 10% off your first month. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash talk 20s. On the first of January, will you do all of like your 2024 goals and stuff on the day, or will you give it to the second of January, third? Um, like, I think, to be honest, I'll be honest. I'm planning yeah. my New Year's plans now, and we're in December, so I think I always have like a rough idea of like what I think I'm gonna do for New Year, and then I guess I do a bit of like writing out. I like yeah. to do a vi- like I've, the past couple of years, I've done a vision board. Like mm-hmm. I've like fully like gone on Google. Can we can we put in. your vision board on the screen? Yeah, the one that we done. Okay, so we speak about this now. Yeah, the vision board. So obviously, the episode is all about 2024. We've just reflected on 2023. But then, yeah, like, it's so overwhelming, like, doing your New Year's resolutions and stuff and then having the pressure to stick to them. Mm. But we have some really good tips that will help you stick to them, basically. We done a goal-setting workshop around this time last year and we hosted it. It was all about, like, this type of stuff that we were speaking about now. And Liv joined it as just an attendee. How did you even find the workshop? I have no idea. Um... I literally no idea. I think it was something on LinkedIn. And really? I don't have it in my calendar. No, neither. Um, yeah, I think it was just on LinkedIn and I'd I'd been looking at like a few things to like um, help me like set New Year's mm. goals and stuff. So I just joined and yeah, from, from there I was like, what is this place? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. And then, mm. and you obviously, did you like the workshop? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll get into That's it. That's where I got my word of the year. What was your word of the, the year last year? Cultivate. Cultivate? Yeah. I think mine was balance. What was yours? I've forgotten. I think but I know was, it's on my yours, vision board. Have you got your vision board? I think it was abundance. It was abundance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it hasn't even been a year. No. That, since we've known you. That's so weird. I feel like I've known you my whole life. I know. Fifth of Jan. This episode will so come out So literally, in guys, this episode can change your life because mm-hmm. I know we're doing it in podcast form, but Liv came to the workshop, like online version of this, right? And a year later, you're now full time. You've put on a festival in 90 days. Yeah. You're absolutely smashing it. You've graduated. You've moved out. Started your a whole, master's. Yeah. Your whole wow. life has changed. So many things And a new happened. obsession for bins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's mad that actually just looking back, like so many things have happened. Um, but that session though, this is what I was doing to big it up. Like, obviously I didn't know you guys or really what Talk 20s was, but I was like engaging and useful, three accountability partner offers. Cause I thought that was dead cool that. I'd, really? ne- I'd never okay. heard of that before to like 
you don't have to be like completely responsible for yourself like mm-hmm. sometimes it helps to have that support yeah. from people so like, like dedicated at the to end it. of the workshop we said like guys if you want to like find a friend from the workshop that will help you accountable and mm. you set in like a few sessions with them to like keep you accountable yeah, yeah. to your goals like that's what we did to like connect people because i think the hardest thing about having a podcast is that sometimes it just feels like we're shouting into the abyss and we know yeah. there's people as views as listeners we know you guys are listening right but we want it to be a two-way conversation mm-hmm. and what we find really really hard is that it's it, we really struggle with that so like mm-hmm. that was a kind of an mm-hmm. attempt at the workshop to be like oh let's mingle yeah. and that 20s fest was another opportunity for us to be like let's yeah, connect that was, everyone. yeah it was so cool yeah 90 days is crazy too yeah like literally you should be so proud yeah but you're so good though having that core focus within a short space of time and being like this is happening Mm -hmm. like that was so good Mm -hmm. i suppose that's the same though isn't it when you're doing like like that's why like doing your new year's resolutions and stuff is good but then it is that because it's over a longer space of time it's harder to keep track whereas when it's so short like you all in like guns blazing yeah like we were a year is a long time yeah 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 so much can happen in a year. Looking to 2024 now, what would your word of the year be? So I'll explain like what the Ooh. word of the year is. Yeah. So this is like what we had wrote down on the workshop that Liv was on. So why you do it, it helps you guide your decisions and continue moving forward towards what you want. And it's basically the first step to realising what your New Year's resolution would be. Mm-hmm. So don't write a word down that is like, money or you know Mm. like new job like think of like what the core value of is of what you want for that year yeah like like more of a feeling like abundance cultivate balance Balance, that's like yeah yeah. uh i need to do you know what and i'm gonna actually say like the person that really introed me to this word of the year thing is actually Juliet Tripp. I don't know if either of you guys know who yeah. she is, mm. but she started off this word of the year. I was like, I really like that word of the year thing. And then I saw loads of other people start doing it. Mm-hmm. So she's the first person I saw. That's another sign. Sure. And one of her word of the year back a couple of few years ago was saw. Like oh. as in saw, like saw through, saw, through. saw through. like into a plane, sky. like yeah. into the sky. Uh, it's, how do you spell that? S-O-A-R? I think... I think that's just like is that your speaking word? to me right now. I do think like also with the plans that we've got, mm-hmm. it does feel like shooting a rocket out in space, mm-hmm. like genuinely like shoot for the moon, let mm-hmm. your land amongst the stars, yeah. like sort of thing. So I'm going to go with saw. Thanks, Juliet. So for that. <laughs> I think because mine last year was um, balance because the year before I was really unbalanced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I actually do think like that's the main thing I have got have, this year, which 100%. is which is crazy. Like I'm so more mentally balanced, blah blah blah. So I actually think my word for 2024 is gonna be abundance or like prosperity. Mm. Like um, it's yeah. been a good year. Actually, that was my word. Like I think faith. I think I want my Ooh. 2024 year word to be faith. That's very appropriate for you. Yeah, mm. just because. Um, I'm now faithful to a certain religion. Yeah. Um, and also, I think faith is such a good one for like, rather than just Believing saying- in yourself yeah, as well. Yeah, rather mm, than saying yeah. I want abundance and like career yeah. and blah, 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 money. Like, I just need to have faith that it's going to come to me and faith that like I have the ability to get it. Mm-hmm. So that's my word of the year. What's yours, mm-hmm. love? I don't know what the word is, but I feel like something about like slotting in, in the sense that like- um, like the role, my role ch- is changing a lot within mm-hmm. like the team about like from from where I started to like where we're going. Mm-hmm. So I think making that slot in the way it needs to, like I, I'm also studying a master's, making that continue to slot in with everything. And then personal life, I think, um, I don't know what, what a better emotional word is other than like slot in. <laughs> I feel like it's a random choice of words and it's two words like what do you mean just like finding your fit like finding yeah, I was gonna say belonging f- yeah I was gonna like- say fit but then I feel like that's got so many fit. connotations yeah. I mean like cheers fit <laughs> yes. um is um, it like like is it purpose is it like no no like, I wouldn't like- say it's purpose it's like um I know what you mean with slotting. Yeah, like fit, like fitting in, slotting in, but it's not mm-hmm. like fitting in like I'm at school and I don't fit in. It's yeah. like... Like a jigsaw piece. Like you, mm. like it's getting all the, like, the pieces together. Yeah. I don't know what the word is. Stick with slotting. Groove. 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 
Get into the groove, don't you? Get into yeah. the groove, mm. boy. You got to prove. She's Is that the song? She's not. She's like, mm. yeah. <laughs> she I, feel, like I still one. feel like it. Like maybe get into your groove. So if you can't, also to other people that can't think of a word, if you get them on like live mm. and you can't figure something out what it comes is, to you in yeah, the yeah, next yeah. few just, days, you know that it's about that, but yeah. like something will come out and you'll be like, yeah. oh, this yeah. is the first time I've thought about yeah. it, so yeah. I'll, I'll come with a word. Okay. The other thing I want to say is about obviously my word is sore, but like I also want, like that's me just like thinking about mm-hmm. it initially. The word that might come to you initially might not be the word they end up going mm-hmm. for because mm-hmm. the other thing I want to really think about is next year I'm getting married and I think that's going to factor in massively to what yeah. I'm doing. So like maybe it'll still be that but maybe I need to also look at like yeah, I personal think, achievements I as think well. maybe like to like if you're watching this right now and you actually want to take like an actionable thing get a little notepad or something mm. maybe write down five of the words that come to your head so yeah. like five keywords that you're like the word of the year like slot in um, I think I had like four different words when I said yeah. mine and then see like where they all align and like what they all dot up to like see like there's probably one big word that joins them all together mm. and then I feel like that'll be like the key word of the year. Yeah. Um, and also like the reason for this, it's a bit like, you might think it's a bit out there, but yeah. like, it's like, yeah, but it's like, it brings you back. So like when your life's going really well or when it's going crazy, like it helps you to refocus about like, what was it at the very start when I was like trying to think fresh about everything? Mm-hmm. Where did I want to go? What did I want to do? Exactly. And then like when things are going good, you can be like, I'm doing that now. Yeah. Or if things aren't going so good, it can be like, right, let's bring it back. Like, what did I want to achieve? What am I missing like, out on? Cultivate for you. Like that's like basically sowing a lot, like sowing seeds basically. And yeah. that's all you've done all year. Yeah. It's so mad that that's exactly what yeah. you've done because I really relationships, do Relationship building, like yeah. the, what everything you did with twenties first, yeah. like how it started the year, how you like. I think it's massive. It's if you crazy, look, actually. The, thing, the, the, the two major things yeah. I did before twenty, before taught twenties and twenties first as well. Aside from finishing my undergrad degree, mm. was doing something within an AI company and doing something within a company that looks at partnerships. Yeah, and then I'll work in a partnerships role and study mm-hmm. AI. Yeah, like everything that I've kind of. I'm doing up until now was all like led led to it like yeah, how it yeah, should yeah. do kind of without planning it as such because everything was by chance really yeah. which is crazy like like you were saying like the fact that you done that like a year like basically a year ago today when this episode will come out you chose that word and now a year on you can say like that word literally perfectly fit mm-hmm. for the whole year for all of us yeah um so if you don't believe us when we're saying this like the proof's it's in the true. pudding proof like yeah. in just pudding. just do it um and then with that word, obviously not everyone's going to want to do this. You can do it. There's loads of studies, isn't there, basically to show like why vision boards work and it's the way people like learn, like mm. visual learners, blah, blah, blah. Um, Gabby's better because she's a teacher. So well, she used to be a teacher. <laughs> you yeah. can explain the vision boards and, and you also have done it. You do it every year, don't you? Yeah, I, do, I find it really like mad exercise because sometimes I'll look at my vision board and be like, oh my God, like, and I'll have a picture or I'll have like a, like a, not even a picture, but like, a vision that I've seen and it's it's exactly what I've mm, seen on a vision mm. board. So I um I have I make it physical and then I take a picture of it and then I put it as my screensaver on the back of my laptop. I don't even really look at it. It's just kind of subliminal yeah, subconscious, that it's just in subconscious that I can kind of know that it's mm. there. So, you know, like I am constantly being surrounded by it but not realizing mm-hmm. that I am. And I basically just go on like Google or Instagram and I find images of things that I either want to do. You know, not everything comes true. Like I had like, mm. I'd really like to walk a red carpet. You know, all these like people keep getting invited to like- Did you put that? I nearly did actually. Is that what you yeah, wanted to I do? Really want, I'm not like walk a red carpet. I just want to go to like a premiere or something like that. I'm obviously not, I've not got like a, I almost did, almost yeah, did this year. Did. And then um, I went to, I couldn't. Um, and then the other thing is like, I really want to write a book as well. And mm. like those things are on my vision board and I didn't do them this year, but there are so mm. many other things that, like, cause I packed a lot into yeah, this. You did. There are mm. so many other things that I did achieve. Like there's a lot of things that I'd like places that I've went, mm-hmm. like really focused on that and spending time with friends. Um, we changed up my wardrobe, which is something that I really wanted to do this year. I've become a lot healthier. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I've launched a festival. Talk 20s was Talk 20s Live or 20s Fest is what we were yeah. going to put on there. Like there is so many different things mm. that I have done that are on there. So um, you, and so it's you just, take yeah. your words, you put, I take you my put word, the words I put it in the, the middle. middle. Yeah. yeah. 
and then I put loads of pictures around the outside. Mm. The other okay. thing I also do, and not everyone does this with the vision boards, but I take pictures of myself from like this mm. year that I really like of me doing things that I'm really proud of that I want more of in the next year. And I put that next to the other pictures because yeah. if you see yourself and then you see a picture of like someone else who's really famous or whatever, like or doing what you do or just a random person, like, you know, picture of a... Mm -hmm girl looking all healthy running through the forest or something like that <laughs> you can say like those two things exist in the same place because you yeah. can see them next to each other so mm. it makes you it subconsciously think unrealistic. that you're, it's not unrealistic yeah. mm. so I put pictures like just little ones I like maybe four three or four just like in with that so it doesn't feel like oh my god this is the whole life I want to live and this is where I am right now no mm. part of what I'm doing right now feeds into the bigger picture that's a picture. good idea that is so, a really good I've idea I've done that as well put in the um the word of the year on the back of my desktop so I can, my mm -hmm. laptop, every time I open it, like I'm, it's there and I see it. Yeah. And you know, like the things that you don't always get a chance to do, like, I think that's, some, I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm not going to get a chance to do that this year, even when it's like things that are not going to be achievable because they're just not within yeah. this time frame. I've got something called like life ideas and it's basically a document, like a, a piece of paper, all colourful. And it's got like all sorts of things I want to achieve mm -hmm. throughout my life. Yeah. So that each year when I'm coming back to like planning, I'm thinking these are the things that, are they still relevant? Yeah, they are. Well, how am I going to get to that? Mm. Like one of them is dead random. I want to have a farm car, like so bad. What? <laughs> a farm car, you know, like a farm Jeep. Oh, I see. I didn't know that it was called that, I think. A farm car. Well, I don't know if it's called a farm car. Basically, I, I want to live on a farm and I right. want a big farm Jeep car. I not like a flashy, Jeep. like, Jeep wagon, drive, like, yeah, yeah. not footballer's wide type vibe, like, farm car type vibe. Yeah. Um, but okay. that's not practical, maybe right? Maybe you've just coined a new term. Yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, maybe I have. Word of the year, farm car. Farm, maybe not some quite that. Is that what you had in mind? <laughs> just a big... Your vision board is going to be like, bins, 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 yeah. farm car, farm car. <laughs> Like, oh, that one underneath she, then. Do you want me to, like, um, Photoshop, like, a picture of you <laughs> with Driving a farm it. car, with a, with a bin in the back of the farm car? You can put that on your yeah. vision board. Yeah. Vision board. Yeah. A big bin, though, because that's kind of where this stems from, that my bin's too small. Okay, a big bin. <laughs> yeah, because with, like, um, vision boards and stuff, like, I, I, I feel like you don't realise it, but you know Pinterest, do you use... Do, do yeah, not loads, but yeah. Like, I feel like I use like Pinterest, like, so every month I'll do like, I'll label it the month on Pinterest. It's all private. And then oh. I'll like add in sections on Pinterest and it'll be like outfits, like what type yeah. of stuff I want to like be wearing. Half the really? stuff. Really? Yeah. I don't end up buying any of the clothes, yeah. but like, it's more like if I go into my wardrobe, then rather than me buying something, I'll say, oh, I have a similar outfit to that. How do I you could, make it? I could wear yeah. that. And then I've got like, when I moved into my flat in March last year, um, like in the February when I was looking for my flat, obviously like my whole word was balance. And at the time I lived in my mum's because I, I had to move back home after uni. I was sharing a bedroom with me, twin sisters in a single bed oh, and wow. like living out of a suitcase. And they're seven as well. They're seven. Yeah. So obviously balance in a chaotic household yeah. is like good. And I remember making a Pinterest board, called it March, added everything like what I wanted a flat to look like you know like what type of clothes I'd want to wear I even added a photo and it was um of a girl jumping on a bed which looks like my flat yeah. with a cat jumping with her yeah. and now I have that bedroom with a cat but you literally have an exact photo of you doing that with yeah, yeah. with well. Tiago so like I think obviously each month there'll be new things that you want to do which aren't on your vision board yeah but the vision board's just like an overarching like vibe of the year whereas like there's still no stopping you then like going each month and doing like you said like yeah. a little document or I do similar thing with like my notes and I'll like check my vision board if it's not on my vision board because I can't be bothered making a new one I'll like go <laughs> on my notes and then I'll just write in things that I want to do mm. and then I tick it off through the year another thing I also done was Last year, I wrote um, 1st of January, I mm. think I was hungover and I couldn't be bothered like doing any of this stuff. So I just sat down and wrote literally a notes document and I just put last year I done. And it was just yeah. a list of things with things commas. And yeah. it, was, it was like this long yeah. and it was just like, I'd write silly things like I cried, I got <laughs> lots of baths, I started trying to eat healthy and then I got really bad at eating and then I went to the cinema lots and then I done this and then I done this. And by the time it was done, I was like, wow, I done so much. Yeah. And like then towards the end of the notes list, like ends up aligning with my word of the year. Mm. 
So they're just like little things that you can do like throughout it. Speak about words of the year, why it's important, and then like s- similar things that you can do to stay on track. So like making your list, journaling, um, mm-hmm. vision boards, and then also if you just find a friend to ask them to hold each other accountable, yeah. mm-hmm. share your vision boards with them. If you don't, you know, don't want to share it with your friends if they think it's cringe, text us. Yeah, like <laughs> literally text talk twenties, text any of us personally. Um, we have a WhatsApp chat as well if you want to send it in our watch up group and we can pay you up with people if you want like that could yeah. be a fun idea mm. and then you can hold each other accountable and just be like am i doing this yeah. like what goals doesn't have to be stressful or no, cringy like no. it can just be a big part of like you figuring out who you want to be so I i've enjoyed this episode i've enjoyed this episode tell us if you want us to do more like this guys because we love them and yeah we'd love to do more of them i know yeah. and, and what on as well what do we want to go into like the the goss or are we just like talking about life things like what yeah. do people want to hear yeah like yeah just tell comment us. below and i think some people get quite like scared of like commenting because other people can see it so like we got so many dms like just know like if you dm us we're not going to be bothered like literally even if you dm us and be like i want to hear the goss or like i want to hear like more about live and her bins like (laughs) we can unpack that with a therapist you know yeah (laughs) Yeah. and on that note (laughs) thanks for listening thank you so much for listening like and subscribe if you're on spotify leave a five star review because you know best number and then yeah that's it we love you bye see you later prince bye prince (laughs) see you later chickens chickens bye bin man (laughs) bin man (laughs) i love bin man i love bin man so much